I almost have to seek those people out because I'm in this liberal bubble here and, and my own family. Um, they're not 100%, but pretty much on the same page that I'm on. So I don't. In your liberal bubble? Yeah, you know, anti racism. Um, um, but I do have people I could talk to better, my own daughter. And mm-hmm. She doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah. She, you know, she's not, um, I want to say she's not racist because we are, but mm-hmm. um, she's not, um, uh, she just doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah. So, and I find that really hard because yeah. I, it's so much of my life is doing this work. Mm. Um, I find it really hard to talk with her. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> mm. But, um, mm. yeah. Let's just take a moment. Let's take, take a breath. It strikes me, because I've also, this is another question that's come up, is what if I am in a liberal bubble, a white liberal bubble, where people all already agree with me? And um, when I was asked this in Massachusetts, in Concord, I said, scratch a little deeper. Yeah. <laughs> because even in the church that was presenting me, I was like, look at this space. You know, and it had a Black Lives Matter sign out in the front. But yeah. Where was it making Black Lives Matter on the inside of the church? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you know, the visual cues in that church. Uh, it was. It did not feel inclusive. It did not feel like you know Black Lives Matter inside here. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you meant by visual cues in that case? Yeah. For example, um, they had a bunch of um, oil paintings of early church leaders this was in a historic new england town so you know they church, was it a uu century. church excuse me was it a uu church uh-huh yeah are you in a uu tradition i was okay. yeah I, i'm from that i'm now studying buddhism but yes okay I'm okay so yeah. Uh, yeah yeah for yeah. example that those mm-hmm. visual cues if you also think about what are the audio cues and by the audio i mean um what's the what's the soundtrack happening in the space you know how often do you hear um voices of people of color or you know music poetry news from the perspective of you know there's all kinds of stuff that we data we fill our lives up with unconsciously or that uncon can unconsciously keep our bubbles white not just but white. <laughs> when I'm in a situation where I'm with people who uh, are kind of sanctimonious and self-righteous, European Americans, I get irritated and kind of, you know, checked out because mm. um, that's not a space of growth. You know what I mean? That's a, and, and it, it feels false to me. And honestly, mm-hmm. it feels false to me. So I think it is important to talk to people who don't already agree with you, but I also think it's important to challenge the folks to walk the talk, you know, keep that going simultaneous to the, the public vigil, which I think is really important. And I think it's amazing that you guys do it. 